Why is this a word up? Yeah, which one is he? Start right on time. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. My name is Marissa Logue. I'm the principal here at Candegua Academy. Welcome. What a wonderful reason to gather tonight in this auditorium. We're celebrating the seniors. We're, I just want to remind everyone that we're broadcasting this event live on YouTube. So text your family, ask them to tune in, they can watch us and honor the seniors from the comfort of their living room so they can enjoy it with us. So if anyone needs to watch from home, we are broadcasting live. We are honored to live in such a giving community. Their generosity is outstanding. Tonight, we will be awarding over $77,000 in scholarships to these deserving seniors. Wow, this is just wow. I know that it has been very challenging two years for these students but they still rose above the challenges and found success. I'm so proud to be standing here tonight and recognizing their hard work and efforts. I would like to introduce who I have here helping me tonight. I'm joined on the stage with me, with Mrs. Ducharme and Mrs. Chapman. They'll be on the stage with me tonight. They're gonna speak about, help me speak about the different scholarships we are also going to invite some other guest speakers to the podium or to the stage to hand out awards that are specific and special to them. In the pit tonight to distribute the awards as they come up to receive them, the assistant principals are here, Mr. Jordan, Mrs. Burke, Mrs. Shading. They're over here to the side. We will read the scholarship and ask that the student come forward to receive their award. If there is more than one winner, we ask that you hold your applause until we have read all the names. Before we get started, I do want to recognize a couple of special seniors. These students have been the voice of the Academy all year long. I'm going to ask them to come on stage one more time and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance one last time. Please join me in congratulating Ethan Rood and Stella Shapkowski. Please rise for the pledge. I 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We cannot thank you enough for reading the announcements every day, and of course, the joke of the day every day. You make us laugh and your voice will not be forgotten. I also have to quickly remind you that in case of an emergency, there are ex exits located at the left and right and rear of the auditorium. Please proceed to the closest exit near you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the presentation of the scholarships and the awards. I'm going to start off today with the American Legion Trade School Scholarship. This is four $500 scholarship given to students who will be attending a trade or vocational school or will be enrolled in a vocational-based program at a two-year school. This year's recipients are Eric Jacobs, Damian Lovejoy, Hunter Schuler, and Cole Sunderland. Good evening, I'm Caroline Chapman. I'm the Interim Director of Athletics and the Director of Communications. I have the honor of presenting the Athlete of the Year Award to a female athlete who's giving outstanding um, school leadership, has lettered in two or three sports, and plans to further her education and shows true sportsmanship on and off the field. Congratulations to Abby Harrod. I think Abby's at the all-star lacrosse game tonight, so that would make sense. So we'll get her her award. I'm also honored to announce the Athlete of the Year for males, given to an outstanding senior boy who lettered in two or three sports and plans to further his education and shows true sportsmanship on and off the field. Congratulations to Eric Platten. The Bristol Mountain and Hassel Family Ski Scholarship in memory of Paul F. Hassel is a $1,000 scholarship given to the recipient that exhibits a love of skiing, contributes to the community, exemplifies leadership, aggressive spirit, and character, and is persistent in achieving his or her goals. This year's recipient is Ruby Hagney. The Canandaigua Grange Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given to a senior who is continuing his or her education in farming, agriculture, home and careers, or a similar profession. This year's recipient is Sydney Hammond. The Canandaigua Teachers Association Scholarship is five $500 scholarships awarded by the Canandaigua Teachers Association to deserving seniors for further education. This year's recipients are Lillian Cook, Lucas Davis, Emma Godfrey, Gianna Parmeter, and Eric Platten.
The Cheshire Community Action Team Cheshire Quilters Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student for academic achievement, service to others, a sense of commitment as a citizen, and responsibility to family and community. This year's recipient is Ruby Hagney. The Elks Scholarship Award Ronald J. Shell Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given to a student of solid academic and extracurricular accomplishment who will be pursuing higher education. Preference will be given to someone who has participated on the swim team. This year's recipient is Ethan Rude. The John Thompson Scholarship are, is three $500 scholarships awarded by Mr. John Thompson to deserving seniors to further their education. This year's recipients are Tyler Everts, Gianna Parmeter, and Julia Tran. The Joseph Edge Edinger Memorial Scholarship is two $500 scholarships given to a two-sport athlete that has helped others in the community. This year's recipients are Eric Platten and Molly Snyder. The Carla Dukowski Moreau Memorial Award is a $100 award given to a graduating student who, despite extraordinary personal challenges, continually strives to reach admirable personal goals while cheerfully reaching out to the needs of others. This year's recipient is Lily Corbin. The Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship, Danette Pimkowski Scholarship, is a $1,000 scholarship given to a graduating senior planning to attend Finger Lakes Community College. This year's recipient is Devin Jackson. The Mayor T. Hamilton Kennedy Marion Dalton Kennedy Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship presented to a senior who demonstrates good fellowship towards other students, contribution to community service, and high ethical standards. This year's recipient is Stella Shipkowski. got a fan club. <laughs> the Rotary Award in Memory of Leon R. Hill is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a senior pursuing continuing education or going into technical or vocational employment. This year's recipient is Cole Sunderland. The Rotary Jean Shalansky Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given in memory of Jean Shalansky by the Canandaigua Rotary Club 
to a graduating senior for further education in the field of nursing or other related health care. This year's recipient is Ruby Hagney. I just have to take a little uh, pause in the ceremony. I know that there are some of the students and families in here that have to go to another graduation ceremony for BOCES or New Vision. Um, so this is a good time to maybe mingle out to your next awesome event. Uh, I just didn't, I wanted to make it not awkward for you guys if you had to go to that event. Congratulations to you guys. I'm just going to give them one minute. At this point, I'd like to invite to the stage uh, a presenter, a special presenter for the next award. Um, they will be coming to the, the pit podium to hand out the winner um, of this scholarship. William Ambrose, Heather Ambrose, and Megan Swing, if you would please come to the front. The next award is the Amanda Ambrose Memorial Cheerleading Scholarship. This is a $500 scholarship given in memory of Amanda Jo Ambrose, a Canandaigua cheerleader. On January 7th, 1994, Amanda, 16, passed away from injuries sustained in a December 1993 car accident. She was a junior on the varsity cheerleading team. Amanda's family and friends, along with the Canandaigua Cheerleading Booster Club, honor her love of cheerleading and team competition by awarding a scholarship to a Canandaigua senior varsity cheerleader who exemplifies a positive attitude, team spirit, and passion for cheerleading. This year's recipient is Jessica Stratton. The next scholarship is the American Legion Auxiliary Scholarship Marie Trumbull Award for $1,000. This is awarded to the Canandaigua American, by the Canandaigua American Legion Auxiliary in memory of Marie Trumbull. This evening's recipient is Eliza North. The American Legion Auxiliary Scholarship Rose Camella Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship awarded by the Canandaigua American Legion Auxiliary in memory of Rose Camella. This evening's recipient is Autumn Class. The American Legion James Knapp Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship granted to a senior who exemplifies the American heritage through use of knowledge of American history and citizenship. This scholarship is awarded to Zachary Hallett. The American Legion Scholarship in honor of Sesto Vecchi is a $1,000 scholarship given to the son or daughter of an American veteran. The recipient must have maintained an average of 85 or higher and have been accepted to an accredited college. The recipient of this award is Jacob Bowden. The American Legion Scholarship in memory of G. Fed Frederick Schultz is a $1,000 scholarship 
given to the son, daughter, or grandchild of a U.S. military veteran who, was active, who has actively volunteered in community service. The recipient of this scholarship is Samuel Orkut. The American Legion St. Pauli Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a senior who has shown significant academic improvement while in high school, demonstrates good character, and desires to attend college. The recipient of this award is Gavin Malik. The American Red Cross is a $250 scholarship the recipient of this was selected for this scholarship because of his involvement in the CA blood drives. The recipient is Samuel Orkut. Anita's Hope Scholarship is a $2,500 scholarship given in the memory of Anita, who was a resident and a reading teacher in Canandaigua for more than 25 years. The recipient of this scholarship is KJ Halpern. <laughs> Annalise Pelton Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given to a student who is outgoing, friendly, compassionate, creative, has a positive attitude, and is community service minded. The recipient of this scholarship is Mallory Dixon. Arthur Westfall Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student active in his or her school community. The recipient of this scholarship is Brady Camella. The Barbara Meath Memorial Women's Athletic Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given to a female who participated on a Canandaigua Academy athletic team and has demonstrated extraordinary commitment, dedication, and a positive attitude. The recipient of this scholarship is Elena Richmond. The Betty LaBarge Athletic and Physical Education Scholarship is a $200 scholarship awarded to a female athlete who is lettered in two sports, has shown passion and leadership qualities in athletics or physical education, and is loyal to school and teammates. The award is in honor and memory of the many contributions of Betty LaBarge who made women's athletics and sports possible at Canandaigua Academy. Congratulations to Jacqueline Gerolamin. The Bob Mewey Student Athlete Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given to a student whose enthusiasm, teamwork, and respect for the coaching staff has helped create a positive sports experience at Canandaigua Academy. This year's award winner is Elliot Morgan. The Canandaigua Academy Perseverance Award is a $200 award to a senior who plans on attending college, has an 80% GPA or higher, and who has always worked as hard as they can, no matter what the situation is. This year's recipient 
is Adria Rutkowski. The Canandaigua Federal Credit Union Scholarships are $1,000 scholarships awarded to students who display character and involvement in community service and extracurricular activities, as well as excellent academic performance. The recipients must also be members of Canandaigua Federal Credit Union and be in good standing with the credit union and be attending an accredited college university in the 2022-2023 school year. This year's recipients are Michael Shellhart and Lillian Cook. The Canandaigua Parent Teacher Student Association Scholarship are two $500 scholarships given to two seniors who have improved their academic standing during their years here at the Academy and have performed community service. This year's recipients are Gordon Fackelman and Chloe Weber. The Canandaigua Police Benevolent Association Public Servant Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given to a deserving senior who demonstrates a positive attitude and gives of themselves for the betterment of others and or the school and community. This year's recipient is Maya Rogers. The Captain Wayne P. Bundy Memorial Scholarship is a $200 scholarship given in memory of Wayne Bundy, a graduate of Canandaigua Academy by his family and friends. This year's recipient is Benjamin Diebler. The Carol Ritschke Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student who is pursuing further education in environmental or agricultural science. The applicant must have attended FLTCC for agriculture, animal science, conservation, heavy equipment operation, or farm to table agriculture, and has demonstrated a love of the environment and hands on science. This year's recipient is Kyle Davis. The Chamber of Commerce William J. Mitchell Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a member of the senior class who has shown exceptional ability in the field of business subjects. This year's recipient is Eliza North. Charles P. A. Persons Memorial Award is a $100 award given by the family and friends of Mr. Persons based on scholarship achievement in social studies and government and citizenship. This year's recipient is Jonathan Miller.
I'd like to invite Brett Cato to the podium to help distribute this award. The Cheyenne Brandt Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given to a graduating senior who is planning to attend college to major in nursing or a human service related major. He or she is a caring, kind, and compassionate student who has a zest for life and cares about people and exhibits a passion for helping others. This year's recipient is Lillian e Liliana Eid. The Elaine Lehman Perseverance Scholarship is a $500 scholarship presented to a student who has pushed him or herself through a difficult time. This, the recipient of this award is Ray Owens. The Elk Scholarship Award given by the BPOE Lodge 1844 is a $1,000 scholarship granted to a senior who best exemplifies the qualities of good citizenship and scholarship for further education. The recipient of this award is Rachel Hogan. The Erin Marie, Marie Masling Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given to a student who faces the daily challenge of living with a chronic disease or condition. The recipient of this scholarship is Micah Bennett. The Jack Coons Track and Cross Country Booster Scholarship is two $500 scholarships given to two students who exhibit good work ethic as well as commitment to their sport, school, and community through leadership, spirit, and character. The recipients of this award are Jacqueline Geralaman and Aiden McCarthy. The Jacob Matthew Gray Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given to a student that is pursuing a college degree in the field of mathematics, has a GPA of an 80 or higher, is kind, creative, and compassionate, and has met with adversity or tragedy yet chose to continue to love life and never give up on his or her dreams. The recipient of this award is Mason Bolster. At this time, I would like to ask um, Todd, Sue, Caitlin, Mitch, and Molly Herendine to come up to the pit stage to help with this award. You can go right down there. Oh, you're speaking. Come on up. I'm sorry. My bad. First off, on behalf of my family, my husband, and myself, I would like to thank the Canandaigua Board of Education for allowing us to establish the J. Karen Dean Memorial Scholarship. As a parent that loses a child, it's important to know your child will be remembered <clears throat> and his name still spoken. This scholarship allows the opportunity for Jake's story to be told, his name to echo the wrestling gym, and help out a young wrestler like he was. Our son Jake was a 2014 graduate of Canandaigua Academy. He loved everything with a motor, 
getting dirty, and playing sports. Jake's true passion was wrestling. <clears throat> he started at age five. He didn't always win, but he worked hard. He had fun, and whether he was proud of his win or disappointed by defeat, he always shook the hands of his opponent and the coaches after every match. While Jake wasn't top of his class, he worked hard for every grade he got. He didn't go to college, he was a tradesman. He loved his job in excavation and was proud of his work. And he smiled the day he realized he was getting paid to play in the mud. Jake always stood up for what he knew was right. He befriended and protected the new kids, the little kids, the different kids, because he had compassion for anyone that didn't fit in. His broad, intimidating shoulders sheltered his huge, caring heart. At age 11, the coach was trying to get Jake to be more aggressive on the mat, and Jake's response was, well, I don't want to hurt him. Mm -hmm. The other story that spoke to Jake's true nature was told to me at Jake's funeral. A young man came through and said, she, he hugged me and said, Mrs. Herondine, I want you to know that <clears throat> When I moved to Canandaigua on my first day at middle school, Jake saw me sitting alone at the lunch table and invited me over to sit with him and his friends. And we were friends ever since. So while everyone isn't a superstar athlete or the highest scholar, some, <clears throat> sometimes even those that aren't winning on the score clock are winning in other ways. We would like to present the first annual Jake Herondine Memorial Scholarship to a graduating wrestler that works hard in the classroom and on the mat, is a positive team role model, and exemplifies good sportsmanship with a strong work ethic. This year's Jake Herondine Memorial Scholarship goes to Michael Shellhart. The next award is the James R. McDonald Award. I'd like to invite Mr. Paul Sedita up to assist with presenting this award. This is a $500 award given to a young man who performs to the best of his ability in the sport of track and field and in the classroom. Being respectful of coaches, teachers, and peers, the recipient should be coachable, unselfish, honest, and provide leadership by example. He should have a sense of sportsmanship that truly embodies the spirit of competition in track and field. These are the characteristics that were believed and practiced by the late Jim McDonald, class of 1977. I am very proud and honored tonight to be the presenter of the James McDonald Track and Field Award. I'd like to thank the McDonald family, as well as longtime family friend Jay Mitchell, for the continued support for this prestigious award. Jim McDonald, otherwise known as Baldy, despite a full head of hair, graduated from Candago Academy 45 years ago with the class of 1977. He was a devoted long distance runner on the CA varsity track team and guided by legendary coach Bruce Bridgman. In many track meets, Jim competed in both the mile and two mile races, giving some memorable performances, one which culminated in the breaking of a 20 year old record in the mile in his senior year. In speaking about this year's recipient to Jay Mitchell, he emphasized the award was not necessarily about the best track athlete. Other qualities play a part in the selection of the award winner, qualities that Jim exemplified. Like Jim, this recipient should always practice and compete with great determination. He is a true leader on the CA track team and exhibits good sportsmanship and team spirit. As a, as important, the recipient should also approach his academics with the same determination as he did with running, excuse me, as exactly as Jim did. Jim earned his BA from, from, from Donia in 1981 and later built a success, successful career in sales and marketing. Jim's passion for running continued throughout his life. Tragically, in March 1992, Jim lost his life in a car accident, leaving his wife Sue and son Kevin and infant daughter Sarah, along with his parents, Ann and Bob, sisters Joan and Maureen, brothers John, and a large extended family. Not many athletes, student athletes, mirror the qualities exemplified by Jim. 
Fortunately, one such male thrower has done just that for the roller coaster ride that COVID has thrust upon us the past few seasons. Like Jim, this recipient is hardworking, friendly, and dedicated. In his first few seasons, if you were not a shot putter or discus thrower, you wouldn't have known he was on the team. He was that quiet and reserved. I started to notice him his junior year, first as a slyly humorous IB physics student who worked his tail off, and then as the person who asked me and Coach Ward to keep shot put in as an event for the COVID-restricted indoor track season of 2020, 2020 and 2021. It was a weird season. We were deciding on which events to keep and not keep, and we were ready to axe the shot put because A, we didn't have a throwing coach, and B, our top throwers had graduated the year before. But this athlete wanted to compete, and he knew someone could coach the throwers, his father, Ryan. During that season and subsequent outdoor seasons, he stepped up as our top boy shot putter and discus thrower, and more importantly, he stepped up as a leader. However, it is not because Eli was an important leader that he is receiving this reward. He wasn't even our best or most consistent thrower this past indoor or outdoor season, even though he had a very good season. Instead, Eli exemplified the finest aspect of the unique nature of high school track and field, the boys and girls team camaraderie. Throughout both seasons, many of the boys and girls athletes of all events would get together informally before and after practice to hang out in my classroom, throw frisbees in a field house or out on Jack's track, or knock the volleyball around in a large group circle. They were simply there to be in each other's company, especially after all the isolation that COVID required. And to see this previous, previously reserved senior embrace the social aspect of the sport, to see his face light up, interacting with freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors alike, and always cheering on others, even his sister, was a wonderful revelation. Eli eventually took more of a central role by giving a heartfelt speech at the indoor team banquet, and later by leading one of the more endearing Braves Blitz teams. All these and the other examples were easily one of the highlights of my coaching experience this year, and remind me why I love this sport dearly. I would like to think that Baldy would agree as well. Please help me congratulate this year's winner of the James McDonald Award for its outstanding male track athlete, Eli Horst. The next award is the Janice Bell Ski Team Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship given to a ski team member who excels among peers, displaying an exemplary level of commitment to self and the ski team. The recipient of this award is Harold Norris. The next award is the Justin Vecchioli Scholarship for $1,700. I'd like to invite Nick Vecchioli up, who has a few words to say. Actually, I have more than a few words, but a few words is okay. Welcome, class of 2022. We have endured a very interesting high school career. I commend you on your accomplishment. I'm happy to be here this evening to award the 19th Annual Justin Vecchioli Scholarship. This year's recipient, and I quote from her essay, is interested in being at the leading edge of principal innovation and one who is intrigued in discovering how things work. Teachers have written about our recipient. She's kind and intelligent, an excellent student, highly active in the class, and is very inquisitive and has a wonderful personality, impressive qualities, I think. Out of the classroom, and as a first-year academy student, she runs track and cross country, and is also a member of the Bristol Mountain and Canandaigua race teams, with aspirations and qualifications to become a coach, and as she says, to give back to the club. It was interesting to note that her adventures had taken her all the way to Austria 
for 11 months as a foreign exchange student. And this morning, I found out that she is so adventurous, she's in Colorado today, 14,000 feet above sea level, working on a mountain trail. So Kate Groschner, we're sorry that you're not here, but I believe Kate's dad is here to accept her award. So Mr. Groschner, if you're here, please come forward. The next award is the Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship granted to a senior who has taken part in school and community affairs to further his or her education and demonstrated need. The recipient of this scholarship is Mallory Dixon. The Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship Burrell Case Memorial Award is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a senior who is a member of Key Club and has made a significant contribution to the school and the community. The recipient of this award is Grace Lucas. The Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship Ralph Salato Scholarship Award is $500 given to a graduating senior planning to attend Finger Lakes Community College. The recipient of this award is Nicholas Ferris. The Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship Rick Richard Ogden Memorial Award is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a senior who is a member of Key Club and has made a significant contribution to the school and community. The recipient of this award is Delaney Moscato. The Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship Robbie Robertson Memorial Award is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a senior who has made a significant contribution to the school and community. The recipient of this award is Sarah Windover. The Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship Robert Wade Memorial is a $1,000 award given to a senior pursuing a career in journalism, communications, or who has made major contributions in the field of journalism and communications. The recipient of this award is Evan Brown. The Lori Brzee Memorial Scholarship is $1,000 given to a student furthering his or her education at Finger Lakes Community College, majoring in human resources or a related field. The recipient of this award is Destiny Garlock. Lewis Shankman Memorial Award is a $125 award given to a senior boy who has shown outstanding improvement in scholastic achievement and citizenship during his high school career. The recipient of this award is Jeremiah Ioma. The Lynn H. Ertl Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given in honor of Mrs. Ertl's exemplary service. The scholarship is given to a student who has demonstrated pride in all they do, a commitment to excellence, and care and compassion for others. 
The recipient of this award is Brooke Bowman. Margaret Kennedy White and Albert White Scholarship is two $750 scholarships given to two seniors who have demonstrated that they have given to others through community service or service-oriented activities. The recipients of this award are Vincent Chen and Rosemary Nicoletti. The Martha Spearchef Canandaigua Varsity Hockey Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given to a student who participated in the hockey program, is committed to community involvement, and exemplifies the spirit and work ethic shown by Martha Spearchef. The recipient of this award is Kyle Davis. The Martin Luther King College Scholarship is $500 award given to a student who makes a difference in the lives of others, demonstrates tolerance and respect for all people. The recipient of this award is Derek Andrews. The Mary S. Granger Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship presented to a senior pursuing higher education. The recipient of this award is Emily McFarland. The Matthew Langan Memorial Scholarship is $2,000 scholarship given in memory of Matthew S. Langan to a deserving senior who is furthering his or her education. The recipient of this award is Nathaniel Tierlink. The Mike Payne Student Athlete Scholarship is $500 awarded to a senior who has been a high-achieving, dedicated student in the classroom with plans for further education. This student should be regarded by others as a good friend, citizen, and teammate. This award is given to a student athlete. The recipient is Mason Bolster. The Ontario County Safety Council Award in memory of Richard Ogden is a $1,000 scholarship given to a senior furthering his or her education in the field of public safety. The recipient of this award is Kyle Davis. The Patricia Green Scholarship is two $1,000 scholarships given to students that have shown improvement in the classroom during their high school career. These students have demonstrated a proven record of compassion for others and had volunteered to assist in special education settings or with an outside group of children and adults with special needs. These students are a member of an athletic team or music group and have excelled as a team player and a leader in their respective team or group. Congratulations to Ethan Palmer and Olivia Spinelli.
The Paul A. Gineco Memorial Scholarship is a $1,500 scholarship awarded to a student pursuing a degree in business, international business, international marketing, or a student pursuing a career in cancer research. This year's recipient is Harold Norris. Richard H. Bowen Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given to a senior who has shown academic excellence in economics, American history, and government. This year's recipient is Maya Jambalai. <laughs> Rotary Ann J. and Aldo F. Fioravanti Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given by the Canandaigua Rotary to a student who works to the best of his or her abilities, has a positive attitude, and is kind to others. This year's recipient is Jenna Furman. The Rotary Four-Way Test Award is a $1,000 award given by Canandaigua Rotary Club to a student who meets the criteria of the Rotary Club Four-Way Test. This year's recipient is Samuel Orcutt. The Rotary Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship granted to a senior who exemplifies the spirit of service. The award is given in memory of those members of the Canandaigua Rotary who have passed away during the year. This year's recipient is Molly Snyder. The Sarah Shankman Memorial Award is a $125 award given to a senior girl who has shown outstanding qualities of leadership, is of unquestionably fine character, and has made significant contribution to the life and welfare of the Academy. This year's recipient is Olivia Spinelli. The Scott Gilbert Memorial Scholarship is a $2,500 scholarship given in memory of Scott Gilbert to a student pursuing education in counseling or education. This year's recipient is Mallory Dixon. Stephen G. Little Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given in memory of Stephen G. Little to a student pursuing a position as a tradesman. This year's recipient is Cameron Laughdale. Stephen J. Eubing Leadership Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship given in honor of Dr. Eubing's service as superintendent to, to a student who exhibits leadership, courage, respect, and integrity while demonstrating service above self. This year's recipient is Logan Ware.
Stiggins Family Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a graduating senior pursuing a career in teaching. This year's recipient is Maddie Jensen. The Student Technology Services Scholarship is a uh, award given to seniors that were members of the Stu Student Technology Services Club. Each student will be awarded $125 per year that they were in the club. This year's recipients are Matthew Beyer, Brooke Bowman, Allison Book, Dominic Griffith, Jacqueline Jorleman, Cameron Laffdale, and Katie McMillan. The T. Harland Evans Award is two $200 scholarships given in memory of T. Harland Evans, who Evans Field is named for, to a male and female senior athlete who have played at least two sports, worked scholastically to the best of their ability, and displayed sportsmanship and athletics in their daily relations with others. This year's recipients are Brian Boldrin and Kate Scabelli. Todd Feldman Memorial Scholarship is a $1,500 scholarship awarded to a graduating senior planning on attending college to major in English, history, or psychology. This year's recipient is Madison Rodingen. The Town of Canandaigua Republican Committee Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a graduating senior who resides in the Town of Canandaigua. This year's recipient is Jacob Bowden. The W. Travis Nixon Carpe Diem Award is a $500 award awarded to a student who demonstrates a thirst for knowledge and a commitment to community service, is pursuing visual arts, and believes that each moment is a gift. This year's recipient is Jessica Stratton. At this point, I'd like to invite Carrie Nowak to the pit to help distribute the following, the next awards. We're good. Oh, here she comes. The Wegmans Scholarship Program. Wegmans is awarded to Wegmans part-time employees receiving 50% of tuition with a maximum of $1,000 per semester, up to $2,000 per academic year. Employees can receive up to $8,000 for four years. This year's recipients are Sam Bement, Zach Enos, Braylon Hughes, and Maya Rogers.
The William Boyle Award is two $100 awards presented by the Daily Messenger in memory of longtime Daily Messenger sports reporter, William Boyle. This year's award recipients are Maya Jambale and Dominic Spichowski. The William F. Morris Memorial Scholarship is a $500 scholarship given to a student in the top 25% of his or her class who is active in community service organizations, is kind and helpful to fellow students, has made a positive impact while at the academy, and is pursuing the field of pharmacy and or business. This year's recipient is James McPartland. The Yvonne Montana Shute Memorial Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a senior who has exhibited strength, grace, and courage while persevering through a difficult or life-changing situation. This year's recipient is Allison Book. The Jean and Don Burgeon Award are two $500 awards given to a student who makes the world a better place in a quiet yet positive way by always doing his or her best. His monetary gift has no strings attached. This year's recipients are Maya Barnard and Jackson Grant. At this time, I'd like to do a special presentation. This evening, I'd like to take a moment and recognize a member of the senior class, Morgan Shar. You are all here this evening to receive these well-deserving scholarships. If Morgan was here with us today, I assure you, she would be among you. I worked with Morgan over the last five years as her school counselor. She was a bright young lady who set high standards for herself. She was certainly not one to settle for anything, and she worked exceptionally hard at her academics. As a result, she maintained a weighted GPA of 98 in AP and college level curriculum. And as many of you know, this was no small feat. Morgan was kind, possessed a great sense of humor, and was always accepting of others. She truly was a top-notch student and an amazing human being. Morgan had dreams for after high school. She wanted to attend a Hamilton College to study biology and chemistry. She even discussed the potential of becoming a veterinarian someday. This evening, in Morgan's honor, I challenge you all to set high standards for yourself. Don't settle. Be kind and not afraid to show your sense of humor. And above all else, be accepting of others. At this time, I would like to ask that Kathy Shar, Morgan's mom, come onto the stage as we present her with Morgan's honorary diploma. This is a celebration of all the hard work that Morgan put into her high school academics, as well as our way of honoring her memory. Kathy, if you would please come forward.
I just want to say thank you all for being here tonight. These students would not be where they are without the support of their family and friends that are here cheering them on tonight. I'm proud of each and every one of you. We gave away a lot of money to very deserving kids. Now go off and spend it at college in a good way, buy books, lots of books. <laughs> Thank you for coming tonight. We have set up a, a really neat backdrop out in the atrium if you want to take some photos with your family. But congratulations to all. Let's do one big more round of applause for all the winners tonight. <laughs> congratulations to everybody. I'll see all the seniors Friday, next Friday morning at rehearsal. Thank you all for coming.